All right, two RC guys, kind of. Here with John Wheeler. Hi, John. Hi, how you doing, T? One of the RC races out here. We are at, uh, where are we, John? Uh, America. America, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, Big Rock. Big Rock. RC Raceway. Big Rock Raceway. So this is John's car, and last week we've seen our video, and we were talking, and like, oh, John broke his car. Bang! Oh, shit! Well, there, there's missing parts. Oh, shit. But we're going to talk about John's car. John has a do-it-yourself turbo that he did it himself. Doesn't run off exhaust. Runs off pulley. Never seen this. John, let's talk about your car here. Yeah. Well, it's a 3.8 liter, and I have done some modifications to it. Uh, but I wanted to get a little bit more horsepower out of it. What year is this, John? It's a 2001. It's a base coupe. Um, and I'm, uh, at this moment, pulling about 28 miles per gallon on the, on the highway. That's impressive. With the way it's set up. Now, with the turbo on there, I'm not trying to gain uh, big horsepower, but I want to gain a little more horsepower to gain a little more uh, bottom end and top end power. And with the turbo, when it gets spooled up uh, after probably 3,000 RPMs, it will uh, give me a little more power on the top side. <clears throat> John, do you have experience with turbos? Like, I, I mean, it's, None. It's, it does not run out of exhaust. No, I've never, so, I've never worked with a turbo. Any turbo lag? Uh, no, none. No lag at all. Um, no, uh, I've been doing, I've been working on this system for about a year and a half. And trial and error, um, this is the third turbo that I have configured. And this one is uh, working at present. Uh, the, only, the only thing is I would like to get a little more boost out of it. So I have a little more uh, uh, researching to do. To try, you and, just try like and get a little more boost. Make the uh, wheel, the gear wheel, bigger. Well, or smaller. Uh, smaller, so it spins faster. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right now it's spinning about eighteen thousand RPMs. Well, so do it yourself. So yeah, but, trial and error, right? Yeah, but that would that would be at wide open throttle, and that's I need to I need to get probably ten thousand more RPMs out of that yet. And then I think I'll be in the ballpark for what I want to do. All right, John Wheeler. That's John Wheeler's 3.8 Mustang with his do-it-yourself. Sure. How long did you? Uh, how long did you come up with this? Well, just like I don't know, like hey, I think I'll throw a turbo. On my well, car. I, I started researching. And I didn't want to go with conventional turbo because I didn't want to deal with the exhaust hassle. Right, and get another manifold. Right. Well, I've got um, I've got a, a, a six hundred dollar exhaust system on the car now, with the headers and all all back to the tailpipes. Sure. So and a supercharger. Although there are some that are available, it would be very hard for me to to get a supercharger in here. So my next bet best bet was going to be a turbo. I did originally try to configure an electric drive for the turbo, but that became prohibitive. So this is where I'm at now. And we're still tinkering with it, still working on it. We'll see, you know, we'll get some more out of it. Shoot, 28 miles to the gallon. That's <clears throat> yeah, pretty it's, spectacular. It's a very economical engine. All right. Well, Mr. Rell, we'll see you at the track. Very good. I will. I will see you there. To RC guys, kind of. Bye-bye.